All right, let's practice writing the letter J. We're going to practice writing the lowercase j and the uppercase j, and then we'll write a sentence. Practice along with me at home using whatever you have to write on. Whiteboard, paper, use your finger and write in the sky, write on the carpet. Whatever you have with you, practice writing your letter j's. As the more we practice, the better we get, the better we get, the faster we write. We can be speed writers. All right, are we ready? Let's draw jumping Jim. Remember, lowercase jumping Jim goes down to the worm line, right? He goes below the line. Just draw down Jim, bending his knees. Then at the one ball which everyone sees. Just draw down Jim. All right, when we're drawing lowercase jumping Jim, we're starting at that railroad track line. We're starting at the airplane line and we're coming down below, down to the worm line, and then going up top to add his one juggling ball that we can see, right? So down, curve his legs, and then add the dot. When we're writing the letter J, remember he's jumping this way in the reading direction. So his legs are curled up behind him. If you get up right now and you jump in the reading direction and you pick your feet up, they will go backwards like that, right? So his body is moving in the reading direction. And then we have his one little juggle ball right there that we can see. Just like with the letter I, we're not drawing a huge crazy big dot. We're just drawing a little circle above him. There we go. All right, now let's practice the uppercase J, the capital letter J that we would use in names, in places, or to start our sentence. Are we ready? Okay. Remember, his head disappears in the clouds. Jumping Jim can jump very high, so we can't see his head up in the sky. Go right down his body, bending his knees, for his arms add a line, which everyone sees. Jumping Jim can jump very high, so we can't see his head up in the sky. Go right down his body, bending his knees, for his arms add a line, which everyone sees. Now, when we write that capital J, sometimes we see it without that line across the top. That's fine, but when we're practicing, let's practice with that line at the top. We're drawing the same J shape, right? We're, he's jumping, his legs are up behind him, he's moving in the reading direction. We've just taken away his juggling ball and we've added that line for his arms. We've also, he's hopped up onto the grass line. He does not go below anymore. So he touches the cloud line, he comes down to the grass line and his legs kind of curl up behind him. And then we pick our pen up, go back up to the top and draw his arms across. So practice that capital J. We see that capital J mostly in names and in some places. Sometimes the letter J will start a sentence, but typically we see it in names. All right, should we write a sentence that has both the capital J and the lowercase j in it? Let's write the sentence, Jumping Jim likes to juggle jam jars. Jumping Jim likes to juggle jam jars. I think we can do it, it's a long one. Jumping Jim likes to juggle jam jars. It's the second letter land friend we have who likes to juggle. Hmm. Okay, let's practice with our capital letter J to start, right? With his name, J, J. 
capital J in his name, J, uh, uh, you jump, p, jump, ing, ing is one of our bells of letterland, right? Ing, ang, ong, ung, ing, i, 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 and then noisy Nick and Golden Girl, right? Ing. You don't always hear that G sound, but they make that together when they're singing, right? Jumping, now we need a space, and the second part of his name, so another capital J, J, I, 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 M. Jumping, Jim, likes, space, L, I, Mr. I, K, K, K. Jumping, Jim, likes. We need a magic E to make Mr. I show up. Likes and then an S. Jumping Jim likes two. Let's make that sight word. T and then an O that's making none of its normal sounds. Jumping Jim likes to juggle. Now we need our lowercase j. J, j, j. Uh, uh, uh. G, g. We need two golden girls here. Golden girl and her granny, I believe, coming together. Goal, jumping Jim likes to juggle and then a silent E at the end, just for fun, just to keep them company. Jumping Jim likes to juggle jam. We need a lowercase j. J. Ah. Ah. Mmm. Jam, space, jars, j, j, j. Another lowercase j, r. Remember that pirate sound, r, is Arthur R, the robot stealer. He's stealing Mr. A. We hear that in words like Arthur or Arion. It's what a pirate would say, right? Jar. So we need A. And then we need R to make that R sound. Jar. Jumping Jim likes to juggle jam jar. It would be easy if he was only juggling one, so we have to add that S, jam jars, sleepy Sammy, to make it more than one. And then a period at the end. Jumping, jumping Jim likes to juggle jam jars. Awesome job. Illustrate that sentence for me and send me a picture.